In a diplomatic rendezvous, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi engaged with his French counterpart, Catherine Colonna, in Beijing on Friday. Wang advocated for the sustained planning and coordination of three pivotal dialogue mechanisms between China and France, encompassing the runs of strategy, economic and financial ties, and people-to-people -people exchanges, emphasizing the need for fresh impetus in their collaboration. Both ministers started a course towards deepening and expanding practical cooperation. Tunisian Interior Minister Kamal Fiki convened with Libyan counterpart Ima Trabulsi and Italy's Matteo Piantadossi on Friday to tackle the pressing issue of illegal immigration. The trio pledged joint coordination to secure borders and combat the crisis, stressing the urgency of fighting solutions. They advocated for the voluntary repatriation of migrants and their reintegration within development frameworks facilitated by the European Union. Amid denouncements of irregularities by the opposition, Madagascar's incumbent president, Andrei Rajolina, clinched victory in the first round of the elections that transpired on the 16th of this month. Authorities reported that Rajolina secured approximately 59% of the votes, reaffirming his mandate for another term. In the realm of sports, USMLGs is poised to re-enter the group stage of the African Confederation Cup, facing off against Libyan club Al-Hilal on Sunday at the 5 July Stadium, buoyed by memories of past triumphs. The Algerian club seeks a strong start in the group stage to remain a contender in the title race. Their aspirations are fueled by previous victories of the CAF Cup and the African Super Cup during the last season.